Uh, I've set times for my two events, sorry, my three events, the 400 AM, 200 AM and 200 butterfly uh, with my coach that I'd really like to hit uh, at this stage of the season. Obviously we've had a quite a big break after Olympics, come back and done a lot of fitness work so that we can be ready for this meet. Um, resting down very slightly, just coming off the meters slightly this week just so we have a good chance of performing well. Uh, I don't know if my times are going to be good enough to make the finals, but obviously that's a aim to try and get to. But in terms of um, my personal goals, I would just like to do some personal best times. Yeah, definitely. It's always um, good uh, to work with Kev, my coach, who's very good at freestyle-based work. He's had a lot of good freestylers, and um, that's helped me to improve my freestyle. Obviously, for the individual medley, it's very important. It's the last leg. You want to be able to get through that. You're not going to have a lot of energy coming onto the last 100 metres, so you want to have good techniques so that you can swim fast. And um, yeah, that showed last week. I've been, I was really pleased with my time. I never thought I was going to be able to do that, especially under heavy training as we were. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. It's been a change, that's for sure. Um, the, people going here and there, coaches leaving and things like that. We've had a few new additions to our squad as well. Uh, it's, been, it's been difficult in terms of knowing what's going to be going on in the future, uh, especially with Michael Scott and Dennis Bursley leaving. Um, but in reality, it doesn't really change that much. While we've got Kev here, we're able to get on with our training. and We've had tough times before. L last year, it was just myself and Dan Fogg who were training. Uh, everyone else left our squad. But we managed to carry on and we, we both qualified for World Championships and um, this year it's the same with the Summer Olympics so we're just looking forward to training hard and just keep focusing on one day at a time. Obviously the more turns the quicker you're going to go. Um, for, me, for me, someone who's a bit shorter, I find it difficult to gain as much as some of the bigger guys uh, in short course. Which is generally why I'm not as good short course as I am long course. But that's something that I'm looking to change and obviously it's a good opportunity to work on your turns because you've got more of them and you can practice distance off the walls and rotation speed and things like that, which I would say is the main difference. Rotation speed uh, that you can, you can gain so much more when you're doing short course which is just quicker and you have less distance to go between the walls so you kind of just bounce off and it enables you to go out the first 100 or 200 quicker than you normally would because you kind of you get that you can see the end coming closer so you only have to worry about a few, few strokes whereas normally you've got the more and you kind of pace it through the length as well.